there are a lot of UV filters in the market. Some are very cheap, some are very expensive. To be safe, people buy the expensive branded ones. It is not always necessary to buy a piece of glass for such an expensive price. Most filters available in the market does not actually block the UV rays. The cameras that come nowadays are not affected by UV rays because they have inbuilt filters that protects itself from UV rays. To prevent degradation in image quality, you need to get good quality filters. It is always best to buy professional filters if at all you are going to buy it. I've got a Kodak Pro series UV filter which costs much cheaper than Schneider or Xyz filters. The Kodak Pro series filter comes in a nice case for safe storage. It has 16 layers of coating in it. Let me open this. I have another one which I got a while back when I had little knowledge about filters. Let's compare the professional one with the lower end filter. There are two simple ways to find out whether a UV filter is a good one or a bad one. Have both the filters in your hand and see an object. If you can see through it clearly it's a good filter. As you can see, you can see clearly using the smaller Kodak series filter. Also the pack says Kodak Pro series filter are made from high quality solid optical glass with latest 16 layer coating technology. But how do we know if the multi layer coating in the filter is actually true? Let's try to reflect a white light on both these filters. If the reflection is the same color, it's a bad filter just like this one. If the reflection is of different color like green or purple, it's a good filter. Also a good filter protects your lens from scratches and fingerprints. I hope I was able to help you identify a good filter from a not so good filter. If you like this video, please click on the like button. Hit on subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. See you in another video.